In this video, I'm going to show you why the play Flood is one of the best passing concepts and I believe a must-have in your bunch offense. Now, if you want to get my entire Washington Offensive ebook, that's the playbook we're going to take a look at. Make sure that you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and you'll get access to over 20 ebooks today as well as future ebooks that we're going to release, updates to the ebooks that we already have, and like I said, more ebooks are on the way. So if you want to get access to that, it's all in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, uh, the link to do so is in the description below. So like I said, we're going to be talking today about the play Flood. We're going to be looking at it from more of a zone beating perspective, zone beating, blitz beating perspective. Really simple setup. Uh, really, really, really simple uh, setup today. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically create a shallow cross concept. So we're going to come out and play Flood. And all we're going to do is we're going to wheel our running back and then we're going to drag our slot receiver. So you see here, now we're going to have a high-low on the left side. And we still have this really good flat route in the play flood that I really like. And what you're going to notice is against man coverage, if they're not shading underneath, you can throw that. And a lot of times you will get into a tackle battle with that tight end. And you'll be able to easily break that tackle and get a field. So if I'm ever in a situation where I have access to throw this high ball, I want to throw that as much as humanly possible. Now, in this example, um, you know, the game's being a little weird with the cover one robber, but typically you're going to have something like this. Typically this is what they would give you pre-snap, and what you'll see is how good this flood play is over here now. And you see how two yards just became five just because of the alignment of the route. Now, uh, let's go over the play uh, with the running back wheel. Now, if there's no, if there, this running back route is actually super underrated. Um, wheel routes, we talk a little bit about this in our ebook. You can actually throw wheel routes, and I don't have freeform on, so it might not be as good, but you can actually throw wheel routes against the shade or the man coverage meta. So you can actually throw um, these wheel routes against this meta. Now, the other thing you have, though, is you have your, your drag and you have your. You have your drag and you have your in route working together over the middle of the field. So if you get man coverage, you want to be trying to hit that in route against man coverage. It's one of the best man beating routes uh, in the formation. So we're able to hit that in route against man coverage. And then, you know, typically that's enough to get them out of man. Uh, but you can hit that slot, as you see right there. That slot's actually super underrated. And one of the things that is actually becoming popular, this is something that I really like to do uh, personally, is I like to play backed off man coverage. If they were playing backed off man coverage on this play, this drag is going to fry across the middle of the field. And it's one of the best man beating routes against anything that's not pressed. And it can be pressed, but it's better if they're not pressing. So just something to know for that. Now, let's get into some zone looks. Um, if they're not playing hard floods, you certainly want to try to hit that tight end. But the other thing that we want to do is this actually gets into a really soft spot against a lot of zones. This little, this deep dig route, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's, you might be watching this video and say, well, I could easily lurk that. And you'd be surprised to find out how many people are going to suck down to this drag route. Um, if they don't, throw your drag. You have the drag over there, this wheel route. What's really good about the wheel route uh, from the running back is if they're playing hard flats, um, if they're playing hard flats, you're going to notice that this running back is going to get open kind of right in that little pocket right there. So it's a little bit of a tight throw, but the running back is an option. And so what this is going to do um, is they're going to go to like purples or curl flats to try to slow down the wheel. But if you watch the curl flat, you're going to see that curl flat is going to stay with that running back. And now your drag is open underneath. So it kind of puts them in the dilemma. They kind of have to hard flat, but if they hard flat, it's not exactly the best case scenario. So again, in zone, they're going to try to hard flat out of this play um, uh, probably a lot. And then you're going to be able to hit your drag in these little pockets. And then they're going to use the drag. And then now your, your in route's going to be wide open. I want to show you an example of them using the in route just so that you can see uh, kind of what it would look like. So their user typically in this defense, um, their user is going to typically be some, it, it basically over here, um, very often. So the user is going to be right there. What you're going to see is he's going to go to the middle. Look how open the middle of the field is quick. So this happens regularly in a lot. Their user goes to that dig. And when he goes to the dig, there's literally nobody um, to defend the running back route. Literally nobody. So you see here, I'm going to try to mirror this a little bit with the, with the mid-read. Um, see the mid-read drops back. There's nobody in that pocket. We can throw that right there easy. 
Then if they want to run to the pocket, as we were showing you in a few a few plays ago, if they want to uh, run down to guard that route, then you're going to notice that this wheel is going to be clear in space, and we can highball this in behind the zones over the middle of the field. The play flood is one of the best plays in the entire game, in my personal opinion. It attacks man coverage, it attacks zone coverage in a variety of ways, and it gives you one of the best flat routes in the entire game that you can use to really take your bunch offense to the next level. If you want to learn the rest of the Washington bunch and how I like to run this this formation and this playbook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is going to be in the description below. And like I said in the beginning, joining the Patreon is a steal of a deal. For only $10, you're going to get access to all of my Band 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks that we've released over the course of the season, and any new ebooks that we're going to release while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, I think today's a great day to do it. Head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.